Lizzo! A big congratulations! Here she is! Come in, please, <laughs> Miss South Africa! Lisa Laurie, the 24-year-old BCom student from Eldorado Park, the township right here in uh, Gauteng in Johannesburg. Congratulations, Miss South Africa! Thank you, Thomas. What a story, though. What a story. I mean, the background of the story, coming from where you did, to achieve what you have. Hard? No, not, not too much difficulty. I think I was blessed with a great family and my morals and my values were always placed in the sense of knowing that you have to work hard for everything you want and you have to stay determined. So for me, being with South Africa and working hard has always been easy. But Eldorado Park has all these negative connotations. No one expects you to come out from there. And that's exactly why I did it. I had to show the world that there's more to El Dorado Park than what the news and the media um, will show on only the bad parts. But there's good, there's greatness. I'm the light of El Dorado Park. I'm now the light of South Africa and I believe that my light will shine brightly. You also did like cheerleading, that kind of thing at school. We actually found, uh, uh, you were speaking to Top Billing the other day <laughs> yes. and you were absolutely brilliant at that. Thank you. <laughs> I saw you doing it and I think we do have some of that footage. Do you have so some of we, we can go to that very shortly. But tell us about your cheerleading and the, and that part of your life. So it was drum majorettes Dr for so eleven it's not No, it's drum majorettes for eleven years of my life. Um, I think that sport taught me a lot about knowing that you have to work with people to get somewhere. You're not an island, you can't do everything by yourself. And working in a team like that made me realize that you have to have people around you that will lift you up and that will keep you strong. Mm. Mm. Now you this for football people is going to be amazing though as well. You are second princess for which football club's uh, uh, beauty pageant? <laughs> Miss Sundowns. You, th so you didn't win? <laughs> I was second princess. Who was judging? Year. Who were the judges? <laughs> so you go from there on to winning Miss SA? I think it's growth. It was a, a, a chance of growth. So Miss Sundowns was a few months before Miss South Africa. And then um, obviously when I went into Miss South Africa, I'd grown so much more. I'd focused so much more on myself, on my country, and knowing what it is to be a Miss South Africa. You entered Miss SA. Yes. How old were you then the first time? I had an automatic entry when I was 20 years old. It was Melinda Bams, yeah? And I remember walking in there and thinking, oh my gosh, like, I do not belong here. Everything about the whole situation just told me that it was not right for me. I was 20 years old and I was definitely not ready to be the ambassador of this country. And I, I was richer in the experience. It taught me a lot. It also made me realize that whatever you do, you need to plan what you're doing and you need to understand what it is that you're doing. And you kept going? Yes. I took Miss essay off the plate, um, off the table for the next four years. I decided to focus on my education, my growth and my family. And then after graduating um, from the University of Johannesburg, I then decided, okay, it's time to win Miss essay. Let's talk about very quickly the last thing here. You have a great side for you, for, of you in terms of doing for the community. There are two things I want to talk about. Okay. First, you were involved in going to prison a lot <laughs> and you have your own, um, which when you hear Eldorado Party, you think prison, okay, right, I see, <laughs> I see where that's going. But what were you doing? I was working with an NPO called Babies Behind Bars. I still do work with them. Uh -huh. If a lady were to be sentenced while she's pregnant, the baby stays in prison for two years and we take care of that baby with their basic needs and visiting them and showing them love and the support that they do have from the outside world. Wow. Yes, and, and you still go to prison? Yes, I do. I do. I work very closely with Babies Behind Bars. I'm an ambassador for them. And it's a, an initiative that's very close to my heart. It taught me a lot about myself, about knowing that you have to be grateful for what you have because there's so many people out there that don't have what you have. And you have your own NGO? Yes, yes. It's an NPO called The Pearl Project. The reason why I chose the name Pearl is because no two pearls are ever the same once they are formed. And that's the message that I teach to the young girls in the El Dorado Park and Soweto area, that you have to be grateful to be yourself and be proud of who you are. Well, this is you arriving in Elders. Were you Are you the minister? Are you <laughs> president of El Dorado Park? I mean, the whole street stopped. I was the, I'm the ambassador of South Africa, so. Well said. <laughs> yes. Well said. You are the ambassador of South Africa. What a homecoming there. But are you ready, Miss Ambassador of South Africa, Miss South Africa, for the Sport at 10 quiz? Yes, I am. You Let's are? do this. Yes.
Oh. <laughs> Let's start out with the first question. <laughs> Miss SA in the hot seat. Uh, I've waited for this all day. <laughs> Can you tell me the answer to this question? And that question is, what is a southpaw? So a southpaw is something in boxing. I think it's when a, a fighter is left-handed. What? <laughs> How the hell do you know that? I read a lot and I, I came across that one. So, yeah. <laughs> left-handed boxers are called southpaws. Okay, okay, okay. That was maybe a fluke start. Okay. Let's, let, let's move on. I'm impressed though. <laughs> let's get into the next question that we've got for you. And that question is uh, the uh, question of, do you recognize this face? Yes, that is Steven Pinar. Why? Why? why do you know him? Like, why are you so quick to recognize him? Fafana Fafana, <laughs> it's World <laughs> Cup. Um, Westbury. Yes. <laughs> Did you ever spend any time in Westbury in your growing a up A little days? bit, a little bit. We've got family that side, so yes. But I uh, know him from the, from, from the national team, my team, South Africa. Yes. <laughs> okay, good. So, there you have it. And this was pure fluke. There was nothing meant to, don't look into this in the wrong way. But who's this? <laughs> Like, uh, we started to see a theme, and I don't know if the theme was supposed to be, but you should absolutely know this man, but can you recognize him? I won't say Brian Banana, but <laughs> Brian Habana, that is Brian Habana, from the Springbok national team, from the South African national team. Yes, <laughs> okay, the so these South African icons are just easy for you. Did you, like, have to study this up, or how come you just know everyone who's in a national jersey? Because they're my teams. They're the South African teams, and I support them. Thank you very much, Lizzo. <laughs> we got